earlier I told you, David became Goliath. Goliath is trying to become David. Goliath is using the formula of David. Their revenues are going higher. Profits are going lower because they're reinvesting. But here's what's taking place. Guess what happens when you become the biggest, the best, the baddest? What happens when you become the biggest, the best, the baddest? And you start beating people. People that have more experience than you. People that are more educated than you. People that were bigger than you. People that you should have never beat. What happens when you do that? You start creating enemies. And guess who's creating a lot of enemies? Our dear friends at Amazon. They're creating a lot of enemies. But guess what's happening with Amazon creating a lot of enemies? A lot of people are falling in love, in love with Walmart. Like who, Pat? Like Google. Google is saying, hey, Amazon, we don't like you. We don't like you. We don't, we don't want to help Google. You know, we don't want to help Amazon. So Google is saying, no problem. You're competing? We're going to help your enemy because an enemy of an enemy is a friend. Okay? An enemy of an enemy is a friend. And Google is coming and saying, look, why don't you sell some of your products on our website? Google's never done this before. Why are they doing this? Because they want to empower these guys. So what's going to be taking place right now moving forward? Here's what I can tell you. If you are looking at these two juggernauts going at it together, who's going to win this heavyweight matchup? A lot of people are saying 100% Amazon. A lot of people are saying 100% Amazon. But those who are saying 100% Amazon behind closed doors don't really know what's going on. Those behind closed doors who know what's going on are saying, I don't know. I think these guys are pretty crazy as well. They have a lot of capital. They got a lot of money. They got a lot of physical stores. People want to go to stores and buy food right now. They don't want to go tomorrow. What if these guys use their stores as a fulfillment center? Yes, they have 75 fulfillment centers and they got 42. But if you really think about it, Walmart's really got 11,300 formal fulfillment center. I know it's only 120,000 products that they can sell, but it's the 120,000 most popular products that you want to buy, right? They have that. So what if you can go online and order your, whole, your groceries, your milk, your food, whatever, 20 minutes later, it's delivered to your house. What if you could do that? Because Walmart's only 10 miles away from you, 90%. What if they could do that? <laughs> That's dangerous over here. Because these guys are trying to get more, you know, what do you call it, the, the, the drones. They're trying to get all this technology set up to try to compete with these guys. But it's not a done deal yet. For those that think Amazon's going to crush them, it is not done deal yet. Look, I'm telling you Vegas odds are still on Amazon's side. I'm not telling you it's 50-50 odds. Absolutely not. Amazon has the favor. Amazon currently is Goliath. But if Walmart starts thinking, wiring, working, innovative, being creative like David, like David, like these guys were David at one point, this could be a very interesting, um, very interesting heavyweight fight taking place the next 5, 10, 15 years that you and I get to witness. I mean, you and I get to watch, to see, see this taking place. We saw Ali Frazier. You know, we saw Holyfield Tyson. We saw some good fights. Fury Wilder. This is a real heavyweight fight. Because this is 650,000 juggernaut going against 2.2 million juggernaut. So before you say Amazon's going to kill everybody, know that a lot of Amazon's enemies behind closed doors are now helping these guys beat these guys. So we're going to see what's going to happen. So I want to hear from you. If you think it's going to be Amazon, comment below. If you think it's going to be Walmart, comment below. And I told you I had a PDF for you. The way to get your PDF, if you're in the States, Send me a text at 310-340-1132. We will send you the PDF. 310-340-1132. If you're not in the States, click on the link below. Uh, subscribe to our newsletter. We'll send you the PDF as well. And if you enjoyed this video, I got two other videos I want you to watch. One of the videos is a speech I gave, a keynote I gave, titled Think Like a Grandmaster Entrepreneur. It tells you moves people make. I think it got like a million views in the span of a couple months. If you haven't watched, I highly recommend you watching this. The other one is a video I did of, of seeing what's more valuable, Elon Musk or Tesla. Should you be banking on Elon Musk or should you be banking on Tesla? And some of the strategies I give behind closed doors that, Tesla, that Elon Musk is doing that maybe not a lot of people are paying attention to. So if you want to watch this keynote, click over here. If you want to watch the Elon Musk versus Tesla video, click over here. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.